Hi there. Uh, thanks for stopping by and taking an interest in our channel. If, uh, if you like this video, if you like what we're doing, um, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, so I'm Hunter. I'm with Branches in Time. Um, this is a property that my wife and I bought um, last year, and we've been working on getting, um, getting some uh, more organic matter on top of our clay soil. Um, we've got a heavy red clay, and we had kind of a thin layer of organic matter on top of that. Um, <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're using some cover crops. Um, this is a really easy way uh, to get things going, especially uh, through October and the winter. Um, all of this stuff will grow very quickly, and uh, you'll go through and cut it and mulch it in, uh, mulch it into your yard so that um, it'll help fertilize things for you. So we've got crimson clover over here, which is a nitrogen fixer. Um, so that's going to um, do a lot of the work of what a fertilizer would. Um, and then we've got some uh, Oregon-grown uh, ryegrass and some Kentucky 31 tall fescue. Um, so what I did is I went through and I took this in a, in a four to one uh, mix to where I got four parts grass seed and one part um, crimson clover, so a five part mixture. Um, I did the Kentucky um, tall fescue and the ryegrass, um, kind of mixed those in, uh, kind of half and half in that four parts, and then we had the crimson clover. So um, I took those and put those in my Scott seed spreader and set that to a five and walked all around the property. So um, again, this is a really easy way to, um, to get some organic matter on top of your grass and this will prevent you from having to fertilize this entire yard, which um, I'm pretty sure what I spent on this grass seed um, was much cheaper than taking fertilizer on this entire acre. So um, <clears throat> again, uh, you might see my chickens back here free ranging. Um, so they like to come out and forage this mixture as well. Um, it'll give them something to eat throughout the winter. Um, just go through and run over this with your lawnmower, mulch it into the yard, and get some stuff on top of your clay soil. Um, it's really it's super easy. Uh, I don't have a before picture that you can see, but back here under these trees, it's very shaded. Um, all of these are shade tolerant and will grow well in the shade. So um, again, this is really easy. Uh, you just go and broadcast this over the top of anything. If you don't have a seed spreader, just take some in your hand and shake it around, uh, shake it around the yard, um, just kind of a nice uh, thin layer, and it's that simple. Um, thanks for stopping by again. If you liked uh, this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be having lots of other videos about um, growing things, uh, self-sustainability, self-sufficiency, um, that type of thing, and we're using uh, regenerative and organic growing practices here. Um, so if that's your sort of thing, please like and subscribe. Look out for more videos in the future.